Dear students, I am Dr. Ray Nirmala, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Computer Applications, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, at Anamas Karanuk 1. In this session, we will discuss about the disk space allocation method. In disk space allocation method, whenever the information needs to be stored inside a memory, it should follow a certain sequences. How to store the information or how to retrieve the information effectively. There are two kinds of allocation method can be used. One is contiguous allocation method, another one is non-contiguous allocation method. Contiguous allocation method. Contiguous allocation method means we are continuously stored the data inside the memory. Here it should be classified into block allocation list, chain method and bitmap method. In contiguous allocation method, there should be certain disadvantages. First one is the wastage of spaces and the second one is the inflexibility. Wastage of spaces means suppose the memory size of the memory is very large. The size of the process is when compared to the memory size, the size of the process is little bit small. So the memory should be get wasted, internal fragmentation will be occur. Inflexibility. Inflexibility means here suppose the size of the memory is 100 KB uh, but our process size is 150 KB. We can't change the size of the memory. So it should be called as an inflexibility. The block allocations list. The block the continuous block allocation list involves the most of the important techniques. First one is the first fit and the best fit and the worst fit. Normally the contiguous allocation method can be classified into three types. The first one is block allocation list. Then second one is the chain method and the third one is the bitmap method. The first method is block allocation list. How the block can be allocated to store the process is block allocation list. The block allocation involves three techniques, first fit, best fit, worst fit. First fit means the process stored into or loaded into the memory or the disk. disk. When the which free space is first, first allocated, it should be load the data. Best fit means first it, uh, it will analyze the empty spaces or free places. The which space of the memory is nearest to the size of the process. The which memory space or portion space is nearest to the size of the process based on that the specific process can be loaded into the memory. The worst fit means it will first choose the partition or the spaces which spaces is very large or enormous in size. So in the uh, in that partition, the data can be get loaded. Normally, uh, when consider in the in the above first fit, best fit, and worst fit, the best fit is the most advantageous one. The block allocation list here, we are assigned your blocks, starting at the of the block and then uh, the end or ending address of the partitions and the size of the block and the file is allocated or the particular particular partition is free. Here, the first here, three processors are available. Process 0, process 1, process 2, process 3, process 4, process 5. So, totally six processors are allocated here. The first process 0, it should be starting at a 0, ending at a 4, the size of the process is represented file. So, the file name is given as x, y, z. Then process 1, a memory space that is the size of the memory space is eight uh, free block will be allocated then partition three and uh, three also the mem memory partition four the memory space will be gets free partition three okay here we are considered through uh, three columns starting address ending address and the size of the block here allocation list here we have a separated table Allocation list table maintain the files which are allocated in the disk space. In the free list allocated or it will list out the how the memory spaces are free or available to store the some other data. So the allocation list uh, allocated how, how much of the space or uh, what type of file can be gets allocated and the free li uh, list provide the information uh, about the regarding the uh, memory space which, uh, which are all available for the some other process to load it. Here the first fit already I told you the first fit method choose of the first free block uh, as per our example 5 to 12 will be chosen best fit may choose the partition which is nearer or equal to the file size so it is the best fit is the 
better one. First, so it is applied to the operating system. We'll choose only the largest free space to store the small data. So it it will occupy the most space, and wastage of space will be occur. As per our example, block from 17 to 26 will be chosen. Here, chain method. The chain method has the five entries and it can be described in the following tables. The first one is the slot number and the second one represents the whether the file is allocated or free, the specific memory space, disk space is free. The starting block number, number of blocks has been allocated, then linked to the next files. Okay, here already we have uh, choose and we have listed out the tables, what are the files are allocated, and what are the free allocation list are maintained in the block allocation list. You take the example of the same uh, same table column. In the allocator, the starting address will be slot number 0. The ending uh, slot number is 4. So the uh, size of the partition that is 0 and then uh, the specific file is allocated, starting address is 0. The specific size of the uh, block allocated is 5. Then two, it will be pointed to the here. You represent the two will be pointed to the pointed to the next uh, partitions. The next partition two, the two also allocated. The starting address is thirteen, and the size of the uh, file size is four. The next it should be pointed to the four. The four file allocated starting at is twenty seven. The size of the file is four. After four, there will be no file allocated files are represented. So we are giving the asterisk symbol. The same method, the one based on the free allocation list, we are assigning the free for the free files. First partition one, here that is free. Partition three is are free. What are the free list are available? It should be implemented. Okay, and then here we are giving. Uh, fragmentation. For example, if there is any wastage of the memory space will be occurred, x, y, c, dot, c, then the memory free space will be available in the two partitions. Here, collaging means we are combining together all the empty places and put together and the large free spaces will be available. It will be allocated to some other files to load the load specific process in the specific memory. So we are getting the largest file combining together. Uh, for example, there will be two memory partitions. And the two partition, the files in the specific site, the file cannot be gets loaded. So if we combine together, means we will receive we are, we are uh, receive a large free spaces, free spaces in that we can store a new files. The next one is bitmap method. Bitmap method has only zeros and ones here. If it is a zero means it will represent the empty spaces. If it is one means the block is allocated. So as per example, in the above, for example, uh, in the diagram you have seen that is zero zero zero, then one one one, that zero zero zero. So here the zeros are represented, the blocks are not allocated. Ones are represent the blocks are uh, blocks are allocated. For example, suppose if you want to occupy the five blocks means we will we will look at search there where the five zeros are available. So the five zeros are available there. So from the specific block, we are going to store the value. Now it can be gets changed into one, one, one. So the uh, empty spaces are now, it should be gets allocated. This one is called as a bitmap method. Bitmap method means it supports zeros and ones. Zero for specify the, the data are free. That is the blocks are have this free uh, spaces. If it is the bitmap method has one means, here the block is allocated.